And I know my mom should never talk with my mouth full, but we're kind of in a rush this morning. We're packing, we're packing the trailer. Cause today is spray foam day. Got myself a bagel with some jam. Got myself a coffee. And it's time to head two hours to Denver to get this thing spray foamed. The right rear running light is not working. Oh man, just come one, on. Just one of them. And I was filming to like get some type of positive reaction on the day to drop a negativity already. I know. I'm more of a realist. All right, so as I said before, today is spray foam day. So we're heading down to my friend Charlie's shop and uh, we're gonna be getting spray foam done because he's actually got like five buses lined up to also get spray foamed. And we're just kind of gonna hop in line and get spray foamed with him. So thanks Charlie for having us down there and letting us slide in to get this guy spray foamed quick. Time to hit the road. So first thing on the agenda for the day is to find a car wash because since we're gonna be spray foaming this trailer, we're also gonna be spray foaming the underside, not just the three uh, inside. So we gotta go find some type of car wash so we can wash all the grime and salt off the underside of the trailer to give the spray foam a really good adhesion place. Uh, we have no clue. Have you found a spot yet? Uh, yeah. yeah, we haven't even found a spot yet. So I gotta start looking up online to find a car wash before we actually get to the shop and spray foam. Truck wash. Truck wash, right, yeah, I truck wear. wash. That's a good point. Very specific. This guy right here is totally gonna work. Now the bays on this one are probably standard, which is probably about 13.6. We're not higher than 13.6. We're like, I don't know, about 12 foot something, maybe 10 foot something. Definitely not 13, so these car wash bays are going to work. Alright, we made it to the car wash and Jimmy just started spraying the truck, but it's time to get that underside clean. The idea is you want to get all of this clean, all of that clean, so that all the grime is off of it, so the spray foam sticks really well. All right, we just finished up with the truck. Now it's time to get this guy in the bay and wash the underside of that. All right, car washing is complete. We successfully washed the truck, washed the underside, and now we're off to Chrome Yellow Corp, where my friend Charlie has a bus van alternative living uh, conversion shop in Denver, where we're getting this guy spray foam. So we're gonna head over to the shop now that we're all clean and good to go. All right, so we finally made it to the shop. I've actually never been to Charlie's shop. I've been friends with him for quite a few years. Uh, never actually been to his actual building location, but uh, I'm assuming that these are all his buses in the lot because like, you just wait till you meet Charlie. I'm sure that these are all his buses. Hello? Yo, hey, uh, I think we're pulling in by the spray foam guys where they're on this side. Should we come around the other side? No, no, that side's good. I'll come out and meet you. Okay, sounds good. There's the man, the myth, the legend. No, not this guy. That guy. The guy over there. Oh look, that's the guy I was just oh, going to try to see. This here is Charlie. 
And How this is doing? his shop. If you don't know him, he's been building buses longer than I've been alive. I'm just kidding. That's, that's not true. But he's he has definitely been building buses and in the bus life for a long time. Yeah. If you don't know where we are, your company here is called Chrome Yellow. Chrome Yellow. So you want to look it up in Denver, Chrome yeah. Yellow. But if you're looking for someone, this guy's in Denver. We'll get you in. Yeah. We'll and we're gonna go check out his shop in a little bit while they're spray foaming. So we're gonna get to see what's in there. All right, we just got everything all finished heat shrinking. Jimmy's working on getting the trailer jacked up off the ground. The idea here is that we need to get the trailer about a foot off the ground for the spray foamers to get in to spray the underneath. So we're thinking we're gonna grab some of these railroad ties, slide underneath, get the trailer up. And now what I have to start doing is taping off all of the small holes that are around the entire bus, or bus, I'm still talking about buses, trailer, uh, because we gotta make sure that the spray foam doesn't penetrate through any of those holes. Mike's not thinking clearly. There's like six buses in there being built and he's super excited. <laughs> little bit, little bit. Outside is kind of done because we're putting plastic down on the floors throughout the entire thing. Reason being is because when they're spray foaming, the floors are actually going to stay. Those are the final floors that are going in, so we want to protect them, throwing down some plastic, and then they're going to spray foam, and we're good to go. We've got bottom lights, side lights, boxes, top lights, 86 exterior lights. Uh, Jimmy just told me it's actually 85, so I'm off by one. But when you see how many there are, you will not be surprised that I got the number wrong. I think you're ready. Look at all of them. The client we're working with told us they want to make it look like a Christmas tree, so we did the best we could and put 85 lights all the way down the side of the entire rig. And when I say we, I mean Jimmy. Jimmy drilled all the holes, I took care of the inside. I was drilling that many lights, Jimmy. It started out with, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm drilling them, to turning into, oh my gosh, I hope there's enough. <laughs> it's true, we actually, when we finished, Jimmy literally asked me, do you actually think there's enough lights or should we put more? And the truth is, is we're still not sure if we put enough and if the client's actually gonna be happy, but I mean, come on, the thing's gonna look like a freight truck going down the highway. All right, so we got the entire thing taped off. The windows are taped off, all the electricals tied up, the floors are taped off, and we're pretty much ready for spray foam. So this is pretty exciting. I, I love this part of the build where everything's exposed, you can see kind of the inner workings, and then within like, I don't know, an hour, it's all gonna be like perfectly sprayed and cut, and it's just, oh. Then, then the real build starts and everything starts really changing. You want to tell the people what you're most excited about, Jimmy? I'm excited to see what color the spray foam is. <laughs> I never even considered that. I just always thought that it's just going to be tan. Tan, yellow, green. You just never know. I think we should just uh, dye it. What did we say the other day? Just dye it black. Yeah, we're going to dye it black so it matches everything here. <laughs> All right, we are officially 100% ready for spray foam. And now I want to go check out Charlie's shop while we're waiting because there's a bunch of buses up there and Jimmy knows that I'm excited. And, and I know Charlie's excited because I always, whenever I talk to him, he's like, it's just so much fun to be around like builds all day. So let's go see what they got going on inside and wait to get this thing spray foam. <laughs> so much fun. <sighs> Look at this roof rack. Are you guys ready for this? You're not ready for this. 
just, it's literally the entire size of the bus. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Jimmy, it's the size of the bus. It's huge. <laughs> they're just spraying that one bus? I don't know what they're doing. I didn't exactly get the schedule. I just know that we're in line for a bus. Or, we're in line for a bus. I know that we're in line for spray foam. What do you see, Jimmy? It's yellow. It's yellow foam? It's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. <laughs> do you guys know who this is? <laughs> do you know who this is? This is the guy who owns the trailer. So he, he's the mastermind behind all the ideas that you see us building. So I don't know. You guys are the mastermind. No, no. Making it happen. We may be making it happen, but he's the one with the ideas. So all those running lights you saw us install, <laughs> that guy, that guy right Wait there. For Christmas next year. Light up. <laughs> okay, spray foaming has officially begun. So they're gonna be doing the underside so that uh, because it's a snowmobiling trailer, we want the floors insulated from below the way the client wants it. And then they're gonna head inside and do that. But some quick information about spray foam for you. Uh, you might be asking, why are we paying a commercial company to spray foam this trailer? Why aren't we just doing it ourselves or buying one of those DIY kits from Home Depot? And the truth is, is I was just talking to Charlie about this actually, and he gave some good insight. Um, those kits at Home Depot and stuff, they're gonna be, you know, six, $800 a kit. Uh, this type of rig is going to take four to five kits, so you do the math. And to spray foam this thing commercially, to spray and cut it, they're only charging about $2,500. So if you think about it, if we buy the kits, it's going to cost X amount of dollars. And then we still have to do man hours to actually do it for a client, or even if it's yourself, do it for yourself. You have to take the time. But uh, in this case, we come down to Charlie's shop, we line up a whole bunch of buses, line up a trailer, let them spray all of them at once, and it brings the cost down. And it actually is way better off because we're saving money and they're cutting and spraying it for us. Because if any of you have ever done spray foam before and had to cut it, it is horrible. It is, I just, I don't do it anymore. I, I literally, I'm always outsourcing this type of thing because it's cheaper uh, for the client, uh, it's easier for me, and at the end of the day, they can do it in like two hours. And it would take me like a minimum of like, a day just to do it myself so uh always a better option sometimes to outsource things don't be scared to do it uh do the math figure it out for yourself come on how cool is that so a little info about the spray foam that we're doing currently it's going to end up being about uh three inch spray foam at about an R7 per inch. So this trailer, believe it or not, is gonna end up being four sides uh, completely insulated at about an R21. So that's pretty amazing, uh, especially when we're putting a good forced hot air propane heater in here. I mean, it's just gonna be the best snowmobiling toy hauler. It's just gonna be so well insulated. I mean, you saw what the guys are doing. It's, it's so cool. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what a finished school bus looks like when it's spray foamed. It's yellow. <laughs> this one was just done right before the trailer was done, but look at this thing. I mean, all the strapping's in, looks super clean, wheel wells are done, electric's in, you can see all the plugs, but man, I'm sorry. This is, this is a, this is just too, I can't wait, honestly, until my little bus gets started. Because once I get my little bus started, I get to strap it up and spray foam it. And this part of the process is just, whew, look at that thing. I mean, just so clean. And if you can see, this is why we do our strapping this direction at a double three quarter, three quarter, because now you're getting a full three inch all the way through. And then here's an example of a bus that is kind of already put together. So as you can see, this one was already spray foamed, but now we've got this nice plywood on the sides that sheets over, and now it just kind of turns into just a nice, awesome framed square box to start building into. But this is how you do it. This is, whoo, good job, Charlie. Remember, uh, chrome, yellow, Denver. Hey, Jimmy, we, is it, we moved isn't today car. like the, greatest day ever slash worst day because you want to be doing something but the entire day is literally just watching other people do work and seeing if any spray foam comes out of the hole 
Which yeah. it hasn't yet, too bad. I hope this video is super interesting to everyone because most of it is just us watching other people do things, which is very abnormal for us. I'm a busy body for sure. <laughs> yeah, he definitely is. Total type A personality right here. We're gonna get back to watching some spray foam, so hope you enjoy watching some spray foam. So freaking cool. And it happens in like not even two hours. It's crazy. Would you look at that? A little different than a bus, right? It's square. <laughs> Which is kind of nice actually. Yeah, Come it's kind of nice. <laughs> To not have to deal with bus curves. The shape is square, but was it built square? That's that's another question. I can answer that question. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, they're all done spray foaming. And now it's time to clean. So Jimmy's gonna pull around back because we're actually gonna be getting and buying some plywood from Charlie because he gets it in pallets and we need 24 sheets. So we're gonna grab some from Charlie. I know a guy who has plenty of plywood. Can I have some of your plywood? It right over there. Oh, yeah. all of that plywood. Yeah, all that plywood. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be taking 24 sheets. Charlie's being real generous and giving it to us for a deal. <laughs> and when I say a deal, I mean like, you know, market price. What it yeah, what it costs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do I get these doors open, Charlie? Okay, 24 sheets of plywood to go. Zero are currently loaded. Let's start. Done, done, done. Looks good. Okay, back up the melon. Good day. Well, long good day over. It's time to say goodbye. Hey, Charlie, yeah. thanks for having us in your shop. Thank you for just, I don't know, including us in the row of spray foam you're already doing and for letting us buy some plywood off yeah, of you. Dude, so, and if anyone's wondering, uh, like I said, I'm gonna link in the description Charlie's shop, uh, Chrome Yellow in Denver. So if you're interested in bus builds or any type of fab work or just, just call this guy. Yeah. So, uh, link in the description, check that out. But we're gonna head back off the road and head up the mountain.